Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel Electron TV For today troubleshooting video guys is about cargo hold bilge well alarm monitoring system and in this video guys I show you how the system work and how I fix the problem and this is the control console or cargo hold build swell alarm monitoring system and also for the ballast tank monitor and fuel tanks and also control for close and open of the electro hydraulic bulb system okay, here is the color legend of the pipelines Builds line black, ballast line green, fuel oil also black, and hot water lines is a uh, red. Okay. Now, guys, uh, this is the manual for plager or plager hydraulic system and here is the electro hydraulic bulb and uh, maybe next time I make the video for this electro hydraulic system or for uh, how it work this uh, electro hydraulic bulb Now guys, here is the diagram for a control console and here we need to check for the cargo hold bilge monitoring system. Okay, here is the bilge alarm. Now here, let's check how the alarm monitoring system works. Okay, here builds well number one, cargo hold port side. Builds well number one, starboard side, cargo hold number one, same. Number two, cargo hold port side, number two, starboard side, number three, port, and number three, starboard side. So, here guys, I explain how the alarm is activated. Here is cargo hold number one, number three, number three cargo hold, number two, and number one. So we have only three cargo hold. This builds well number three port side. You see the red circle. That's the indicator light if the alarm sensor is activated here is the bilge well number 3 cargo hold starboard side number 2 port side cargo hold number 1 port side cargo hold and starboard side Now guys, uh, let's check how the alarm activate. Build swell number one port side, for example. We have the indicator light, LED. Number one port. 
Ok Red for activate and the other one is green If we follow the line Let's start for lamp test Lamp test Here is the button If we press the lamp test And follow the line Connected to Green Green LED Here If we press the Lamp test Activate the green LED Or indicator light And here is the contact for the sensor, normally close. And uh, that's the contact if the sensor is not uh, activated. And now guys, if I follow the line from here, going here, A1 of the, this contactor, and A2, Therefore, this 6K1 contactor is energized. And this normally closed contact will be open because this 6K1 is energized. Open. And follow the line. This uh, signal light or LED light is not energized. Therefore, there's no alarm. But if the sensor is activated, this line will be open or cut the supply line of the 6K1 contactor here. And this one will be the energized. After that, this contact 11 and 12 will be normally closed. Or close and follow the line this LED light or signal LED light red will be energized and the alarm is activated and uh, all the cargo hold build cell alarm sensor is the same contact normally close therefore it's the same And uh, we have another auxiliary contact here for the contactor of 6K1. Bilge alarm. And here we have a normally open contact for all bilge alarm here all is normally open contact therefore if this uh, sensor all the sensor is not activated and all the contactors is energized Therefore, all the contacts will be closed and this contactor is energized. After that, if one of the contactor is de-energized, for example, then this contactor will be de-energized also. And another here. This 7K4 for bilge alarm is close. This timer relay contact we need to be close. 3K2. Okay. 3K2 timer relay. Follow the power supply. Positive and negative. 
flowing here therefore this 3k timer relay is energized okay and this contact will be closed and this 5k1 contour also energized this contact also we need will be close 5k3 contour energize this also will be close also this one will be close and the alarm buzzer is energized and that's the cargo hold builds well alarm activate This one for the control of the hydraulic bulb, close and open. And our problem guys or troll, all of the alarm is activate. Now guys, we are here in uh, cargo hold number 3, that's the field swell pool of water and this is the sensor float level sensor we need to remove the water first here is the port side there is no float level sensor they already removed but did not replace because they have always a container here and now we are here in dry dock and that's the best time or chance to fix this problem here in the sport side I need to install new float level sensor. Here in starport side, I need also to replace this one.
guys, uh, we are here in cargo hold number one, and uh, it's the same issue. All the builds well was a pull of water. port and uh, starboard here is the port side and starboard side therefore we need to remove the water first now guys here is the sensor look it's not in good condition you need to replace or clean first maybe it's working now the starboard is uh, already clean and it's look good And the port side is I need to clean also. Now it's clean and it's look good. And now we are here in cargo hold number two, and it's the same issue. It's a pool of water. That's why the sensor is activated this is the starboard side and here is the port side it's good news the sensor was already replaced and it's new Now the starboard side is clean and it's uh, okay. Now guys, I'm here in the ECR or engine control room and here is the monitoring alarm system. And look guys, there's no alarm or level high of bilge water in the cargo hold and the problem was solved and that's it for today guys i hope uh, you learned something in this video and uh, please uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel guys electron tv thank you for watching and uh, see you in my next vlog